Hey guys, welcome to Nicole's Productions and it's been quite a while since I made my last video so uh, I'm going to make a bit of different video for you guys because um, my Nexus 4 has died on me and as of now I'm using my iPhone 4 um, so uh, there isn't going to be any more videos on the Nexus 4 since it died I basically broke it so uh, as for today what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to make a guide for you guys so uh, as you can see in the title already, the guide is going to be uh, some of the things that you should keep in mind while buying a new laptop or the things that you should look at when, while choosing a laptop for yourself. So yeah, I'll be using my own laptop, my personal laptop as a point of comparison and to show you some of the things that you should look at. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the number, uh, so one of the first things that you should look at while choosing a, a new laptop is the build quality of the laptop. Now I've seen people uh, looking at, mainly looking at the specs of the laptop and then looking at the price. But one of the most important things of a laptop is its build quality, which probably is more important than the specs itself. Uh, now. The main use of a laptop is uh, basically uh, it's basically going to be used uh, to carry it around and uh, move it to different places like your office or your home or wherever you go basically. So, in, so one of the m mo most important things that a laptop laptop should have is a good build quality because obviously since you're going to be moving it around often, it's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be getting scratched, damaged, and uh, basically damaged pretty easily as compared to a, a, a laptop that you keep at one place or you, you don't move around or a desktop uh, so having good build quality is essential while buying a new laptop uh, and it's one of the things that's most ignored while buying a new laptop itself so uh, while talking about build quality what is what are the things that you should keep in mind so firstly while looking at the build quality you should see the material used in the manufacturing the laptop itself and as you can see in this uh, laptop, this is the Lenovo Z480 laptop, which I am personally using. Uh, it, as you can see here, the lid is made out of and metal, uh, which is one of the preferred mat materials that I prefer personally. Aluminum, uh, which is great. Any other metal should do as well. Uh, and I prefer metal over plastics because they tend to be more resistive to scratches, to fingerprints, and. Uh, and they basically they're basically harder than plastics so they tend to do a better job in maintaining the be better build quality so I'll just go ahead and open it up you can see the whole chassis of the laptop is uh, metal except for the screen the screen bezel here which you can see uh, that's made out of plastic uh, which is the downside to this laptop but uh, I prefer the metal over the plastic build in terms of build quality in terms of the material used uh, the, the advantages of the metal are basically obviously like I said it prevents scratches it also prevents uh, fingerprints and it also has less flex to it so if you had a laptop which had a plastic uh, a lid or a plastic palm rest uh, it tends to flex more much more and gives you a cheap uh, feeling uh, and which I personally don't like especially for a laptop because you're gonna have a laptop say for uh, three years four years and uh, over time it's obviously going to stay with you uh, and over time like I said it's gonna collect scratches and it's gonna get damaged so I prefer metal because uh, you don't want to use a laptop with scratch damage and obviously for preventing damage to your laptop itself you also want to go with the metal now uh, there are also a few brands that you should keep in mind that have good build quality so uh, some brands which make really well-made laptops are firstly Lenovo itself they they, they, they have their ThinkPad uh, series of laptops which are really well made and uh, they have their IdeaPad as well which are also relatively well made ThinkPad although is one of the best best built laptops out there on the market uh, HP has their pavilion line which is great uh, I, I don't know what HP's business is business line notebooks are I think they have the pro book so HP have their pro book line of uh, notebooks as well which are really well made uh, moving on um, I think Dell make relatively well uh, la relatively well made laptops although uh, I wouldn't rate them on par with HP Lenovo uh, 
but they make some good laptops as well. Uh, I think they have their Elite Book line of notebooks, which is really well made. Um, so uh, last uh, last manufacturer which I want to cover is Asus, which have really really well made laptops, probably one of the best on and comparable to HP and Lenovo. So you should definitely go ahead and uh, look at uh, the manufacturers that I mentioned. There are other manufacturers like Toshiba, like uh, Compaq, uh, which is now taken by or by HP. There's also um, things like Fujitsu, but those the build quality of those laptops I wouldn't uh, consider because they usually use plastic in their manufacturing and their build quality isn't as good as what uh, the brands which I mentioned have. So uh, basically that that's what I wanted to say about the build quality. Uh, another thing that you should keep in mind is how well the laptop is put together itself. Uh, which like I said the brands that I mentioned have uh, do a pretty good job of putting together the laptop. They, so these brands make sure that there are no creaks, that there's no flex, there's no uh, badly put together parts and they have basically a good uh, quality control in their laptops uh, that's another thing that you should keep in mind uh, and yeah so this is basically all I wanted to say about the build quality I can go into further details about the lap the keyboard of the the build quality of the keyboard of the screen of the various parts but I'll cover that in separate videos so yeah th this is the video one of my series so this the series will hopefully help you make a more in informed choice on things that you should look at were buying a new laptop so i hope this video was uh, useful for you guys and for more such videos go ahead and subscribe